running for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about Series 2, yes, count them, Series 2 of Torchwood. Episode 1, well, Story 1, The Victorian Age. Yes, we know that having them as down as series and giving them locations is largely pointless. I mean, let's face it, this is Torchwood, The Victorian Age, which means it fits, what, somewhere before your DVD box set? Let's not question this sort of thing. Now, we all know about Victorian Torchwood. We've seen the odd photograph. Yes, Chris Chibnall, we are looking at you. And we're very happy about this sort of thing. It, it's very nice. I've got no complaints whatsoever about Victorian Torchwood as a concept. But what are we going to do with it? Because let's face it, it's a location. It's a setting. It's not a story in itself. We know for a fact that Queen Victoria is the person who set up Torchwood. But here is a story with Captain Jack and just the Queen. Yes, there are other characters. This is a full cast narrative story. But let's face it, as Torchwood and as Big Finish goes, and they fit perfectly together on this one, we are still dealing with a relatively small number of people on screen using the little rabbit ears. Yeah, you know what I mean. So what are we going to do? Well, of course, we're going to end up with a fabulous character piece. We're going to end up with something that's tremendously strong and well-observed when it comes to Queen Victoria and, of course, Captain Jack. Where we are in his own personal timeline is a little bit spurious, but not really that important. We know that Captain Jack is Captain Jack. We know that there's pre-immortality Captain Jack. There is, which also contains the missing X number of years. There's also... Captain Jack buried in Earth for 2,000 years, or Huggy Jack when he comes out. And we know, of course, that there is lots of different Jacks. You know, the ones that needed to be reburied and things like that. It gets quite complicated. Again, not important. What is important is that Queen Victoria is thinking about closing down Torchwood. And she is an old lady, and she's going to have one more hazard. She's basically going to become... A Torchwood adventurous. Marvellous. A lovely idea. So on one level you've got a basic Torchwood romp. You've got an alien on the loose. You've got some representatives who need to take it out. But you've also got an elderly lady who's looking back on her life and her decisions. Not only that, you've got Captain Jack trying to keep things together and protect the universe and Earth. The 20th century is where things change and Captain Jack has to make sure that things are ready. Yes, he'll end up running Torchwood Cardiff at some point. That's something we're going to have to talk about at another date. But here, this particular story, is it as strong as the others? I'm not 100% certain. Is it excellent? Without question. Will you be buying it? Of course you will. It's another Torchwood story, and this series has been the best example of Torchwood that has ever existed. It is better than TV Torchwood on simply every level. We've got Toshika turning up in the next story. That's going to be marvellous. So here's the trailer. Decide for yourself. And either way, I'll speak to you very soon. But I've got some writing to be getting done with. So until then, be seeing you. I am Queen Victoria, monarch of Great Britain and Ireland, and Empress of India. This is an official inspection of Torchwood Headquarters. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions, Torchwood. The Victorian Age. An alien that we're investigating is missing. Well, come on then. We are going after it. We? The royal we. You may come if you like. 
And where is it now? Heading for Westminster, Your Majesty. Well, that could be worse. Politicians are people too, ma'am. One does wonder. It attacked my daughter! She's dying! Someone help! Neither of you are of my world, Captain Harkness. Perhaps you deserve each other. Big Finish by Royal Appointment to Queen Victoria. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.